Good day everyone. I welcome you all to today's module on supplements and sports foods. If an athlete unknowingly or unintentionally consumes a prohibited substances, they'll be held liable according to World Anti-Doping Code. So this may lead to a loss of medals he won, records he set on may even lead to permanent or temporary suspension of him from any competitions he participates. So it's very important for you to know what you put in your bodies. In today's lesson, we'll be discussing about the basics of several sports supplements that are available in the market. Objectives of today's lesson are to know what are the supplements and ergogenic aids actually are, to understand why athletes use these supplements and ergogenic aids in their routine. We'll also be looking at the commonly used supplements that are available in the market. Supplements that directly improve the performance of any athlete or the person. Supplements that help in improving your physical appearances like muscle mass and etc. Let's look into the common and widely accepted definition for supplement and ergogenic aids. Supplement can be defined as a food, a food component, nutrient or any other non-food compound that is purposefully ingested by a person in addition to his habitually consumed diet with the aim of achieving a specific health status or improving his performance whereas ergogenic aid is a training technique mechanical device or a nutritional practices he follow pharmacological method or a physiological techniques that can improve exercise performance capacity and training adaptations any form of supplement or sports food can be considered as an ergogenic aid. When we look into the various studies conducted about the usage of sports supplements, it is clearly understood it varies across different sports and activities. People who train on regular basis, who have an increased level of activity or longer workout hours, tend to use supplements more in order to meet their bodily needs. It also increases with the age. People around early 30s to mid 40s are found to use the supplements higher than other age groups on an average. Comparatively, men use more supplements than women. Generally, women use supplements to improve the health or to meet the nutritional deficiencies which couldn't be met through normal diet. Whereas, Men use supplements to improve their sporting performance like speed, agility, strength and power as well as to change their appearance like building muscle to reduce weight or to lose excess body fat. A survey conducted among track and field athletes showed that 89% of men and 83% of women who participate in any kind of physical activity use some sort of supplements which is an overwhelming majority. Let's see why people prefer sports foods or why sports foods are in trend. Sports nutrition guidelines provide us with clear recommendations depending on our workout context. But in some situations, it is impractical to consume such a huge amount of food to meet the RDA. Sports foods are often designed for convenient consumption. Few may have issues in preparation or even storage of the cooked food which provide you an equal amount of nutrient same like your sports food. So people prefer sports food. Food may be difficult to consume especially with regards to a hectic training schedule. Another important reason could be that it is a challenge to meet your nutrient targets within your available energy budget or what we call as a calorie count. Amount of energy or calories that you need may be a limiting factor with regards to your food choices. A good example would be protein isolate shake giving you an adequate amount of protein at lower calorie in comparison to whole food sources like chicken or fish. 
supplements occur in many different forms some of these form include functional foods these are foods with specific health giving benefits supplements can also be found in the form of formulated foods and sports foods these are often foods which are formulated specifically for athletes or very active person these are generally formulated using rda guidelines specifically mentioned for them we also have substances called single nutrient and other components of foods or herbal products provided in isolated or concentrated forms the next is our multi ingredient product which contain various combinations of those products which are described above a good example could be a recovery shake which is a good combination of your micronutrient micronutrient and few beneficial herbs in minimal quantity let's now briefly look at various products that fit the description of sports foods sports drink sports drink often provide us with a concentrated form of carbohydrate and are also a good source of electrolytes the typical composition of a sports drink is that it contains between 5 to 8% of carbohydrate 10 to 35 ml per liter of sodium 3 to 5 ml per liter of potassium they provide us with a simultaneous kick off fluid and carbohydrate during exercise they are generally used as a post exercise rehydration and refueling drink energy drinks energy drinks are also similar to the sports drinks which are a source of fluid and carbohydrate but they may also include other additional ingredients like caffeine taurine and b vitamins these substances have a significant amount of evidence for the usage as a stimulant in energy drinks they are generally found to be an effective pre exercise or during exercise supplements which helps in the improved activity levels which also helps in endurance but it is very important to stick on to the prescribed levels sports gels and confectioneries these are very rapidly trending sports supplements they are generally packaged in a sachet you can just tear open and gulp down in one swallow like your juice or jelly they are usually a source of carbohydrate and can provide up to 25 grams per sachet or 5 grams per serving of carbohydrate electrolyte replacement supplements they are usually available in the form of powder or effervescent tablets they are normally low in carbohydrate but they provide a good dose of sodium and potassium rapid rehydration after a severe dehydration episodes are possible with these electrolyte replacement supplements they occur in different flavors and in different concentrations which can be chosen depending on your requirement and preference protein supplements provide us with a convenient dose of high biological value protein in an easy to consume form they are often consumed as a powder that can be mixed either with milk or water or as a protein rich bar they are most helpful during the post exercise or recovery phase and may be used to increase lean mass or muscle mass either during a growth or with the resistance exercises they are commonly used as a portable form of nutrition due to their convenience in busy schedule or while traveling protein supplements are found to be a highly consumed sports products compared to other liquid meal replacements or supplements they provide you with a mix of macronutrients mainly protein and carbohydrate few may give you some vital micronutrients as well 
they can be used to supplement a diet that needs to be high in energy for example if you are training hard or if you are in competition or you are trying to gain weight it can also be used for an easy to consume pre event meal or for a post workout recovery they are also called as a portable form of nutrition like your protein supplements but these liquid meal replacements are available as a ready to drink formulas whereas protein supplements they have to be prepared at the time of consuming it the next product which is becoming increasingly popular at the moment is protein enhanced foods they are often available in the form of milk yogurt ice cream and even cereal bars they have a higher protein content compared to their unsupplemented versions and this is achieved by adding protein to the food or dehydrating the product to concentrate the original protein content of the food they provide up to 20 grams of protein per serving they are usually best suited to use as a post exercise meal or even to improve the protein content of your daily meal the best example would be a peanut butter what's bars these are similar to the liquid meal replacement except for the form in which it's available they are the mix of carbohydrate protein and macronutrients normally about 40 to 50 grams of uh, carbohydrate 5 to 10 grams of protein usually these sports bars are low in fat and fiber except for few varieties which have added fiber in them they also provide you with 50 to 100 percent of recommended dietary elements of your vitamins and minerals they can be used as a source of carbohydrate during exercise or for post exercise recovery there are handful of supplements that have been proven to directly improve the performance these include creatine caffeine nitrates beta alanine and sodium bicarbonate let's see what these supplements do to your body in order to improve your performance creatine there are two important terms to be considered with respect to creatine first is the creatine loading and the next would be creatine maintenance creatine loading is usually consumed as approximately 20 grams of creatine per day this is divided into four equal daily doses of 5 grams per dose taken for a period of 5 to 7 days this has been found to enhance the performance of sports involving repeated high intensity exercises it can also lead to greater gain in lean muscle and muscular strength and power in resistance and interval training over a longer period of time once the loading phase is complete you are going to enter into the maintenance phase of creatine in which you consume 3 to 5 grams of creatine per day taken as a single dose for the rest of the supplementation period the concurrent consumption of creatine with certain macronutrients like a mixture of carbohydrate and protein sources might actually enhance the muscle creatine uptake there was no negative health effects associated with long term usage of up to 4 years of creatine was observed when appropriate loading and maintenance protocols are followed caffeine is a very popular stimulant that has well established benefits for athletic performance for endurance activities as well as super maximal or very hard or repeated sprint task caffeine also increases the release of endorphin which is commonly known as happy hormone it improves neuromuscular function it improves vigilance and alertness it reduces 
perception of exertion during exercise so you can effectively work out harder without realizing it approximately 3 to 6 mg per kg body weight of caffeine should be taken 60 minutes before exercise and this has shown to improve your athletic performance larger caffeine doses greater than 9 mg per kg body weight found to increase the side effects including nausea anxiety insomnia and also restlessness in any individual next we have is nitrates dietary nitrate is a popular supplement that has been commonly known to have benefits in prolonged submaximal exercises in endurance type activities as well as high intensity intermittent and short duration exercises nitrate consumption can increase exercise performance through enhancing the function of type 2 muscle fiber which are also known as a short twitch muscle fibers and help the muscles to use atp more effectively and increasing the blood flow to these muscles high nitrate containing foods include leafy greens root vegetables beetroot spinach celery the benefits of taking nitrates is seen within 2 to 3 hours after the intake of about 310 to 560 mg of nitrates beta alanine beta alanine increases buffering capacity of the cell long term daily supplementation of beta alanine can increase skeletal muscle carnosine content they have potentially beneficial effect on sustain high intensity exercise performance this effect is small but potentially meaningful during both continuous and intermittent exercise task lasting anywhere between 30 seconds to 10 minutes of duration consumption of about 65 mg per kg body weight of beta alanine consumed in split doses is found to increase the exercise performance considerably but they possess side effects like skin rashes tingling or prickling in limbs sodium bicarbonate it is also found to have beneficial effects due to its buffering capacity like beta alanine but rather than acting inside the cell it acts as an extracellular or blood buffer This buffering effect can have a potentially beneficial effect on sustained high intensity exercise performance. It can enhance the performance of short term high intensity sprints lasting up to 60 seconds. A single dose of 0.2 to 0.4 grams per kg body weight can be consumed 60 to 150 minutes before exercise event. Sodium bicarbonate found to have a well established side effect of GI distress. This can be overcome by having it with small carbohydrate rich meal or using sodium citrate as an alternative form of sodium bicarbonate. Let's now look at the supplements that assist with physique change specifically muscle gain. as it is one of the primary goals of majority of the people who exercise and take protein supplements regularly first and foremost protein intake is positively associated with enhanced lean muscle gains when consumed in appropriate time and appropriate amounts during resistance exercise if you see any protein supplements the factor which helps in muscle gain would be leucine which is one of the very important essential amino acid it acts as a trigger for the rise in muscle protein synthesis and suppression of muscle protein breakdown thus helping your body to build more muscle 20 grams of protein 3 to 4 times a day is recommended with one of these doses being consumed soon after the exercise for any person the protein consumption should not go beyond 2 grams per kilogram body weight 
Leucine is also available as a separate formulas but their activity is found to enhance if it is taken along with the other essential amino acid as a complete protein. Sports supplements are here to stay and play a meaningful role in your training program. They directly enhance the competition performance and can fetch you medals and prizes. It helps to meet the nutritional goals, help you to train hard and stay healthy and injury free after a strenuous exercises. On the other hand, dietary supplements are generally not required for well nourished active adult or athlete. Ergogenic aids can be used only after careful evaluation of effectiveness, their potency and safety. So, in short, become supplement smart for your health and athletic performance and uh, please do consult a registered dietitian or qualified sports nutritionist before you start with any supplements. Thank you.